We know that South Africa's municipalities seem to be on the brink of collapse, and this is according to the Auditor General's report, where municipalities don't even have money to pay service providers, let alone a service delivery to residents. And the question now is, will the Auditor General exercise her powers to take punitive measures against poor-performing municipalities? Joining me now is the chairperson of the Salga KZN, Tamin Tuli. Good afternoon to you, Tami, and thank you for joining us. Um, just looking at the overall problems within municipalities across the nine provinces of the country, whether these should be under administration, Tami, and this has come out uh, when President Cyril Ramaphosa held a media dialogue that we maybe need to revisit the whole idea of nine provinces and the bloated structure of government as it stands to get to the bottom of uh, uh, service delivery or the lack thereof. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, uh, Cindy, and to your viewers. Well, uh, uh, Salka, <clears throat> we, in fact, are of the view in Gagwazu Natale that uh, the challenges which are facing a uh, local government in the province and uh, even somewhere else, uh, AG's consequence management uh, stance uh, will assist in ensuring that every practitioner in a local government will do everything according to the books, understanding that there will always be consequences. Well, the issue of uh, the backlog in terms of uh, in infrastructure and infrastructure maintenance issues, uh, they also have the issue, if they have a factor of the funding model, which, in fact, even uh, in the pronouncements of the president, which we are citing, uh, review, reviewing everything. In fact, the other very important factor that ought to be reviewed is the issue of uh, the funding model. Hence, uh, we have uh, raised on numerous occasions, uh, even with the national treasurer, that uh, for local government, issues of infrastructure maintenance really requires uh, some uh, more investment. Because uh, for uh, the infrastructure, uh, to be of good quality so as to be able to uh, service uh, people uh, adequately. Uh, it requires some kind of investment. You, you recall that uh, the, the, the challenge uh, municipalities are faced with is the issue of uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the revenue collection, which is not only the municipalities' issues. I think uh, we, we have seen a communicate uh, uh, from even the national government uh, talking to the subject uh, for both national and provincial. And it's even uh, uh, more in local government since uh, the capacity for uh, the uh, people uh, down there uh, to even pay uh, is hampered is by many factors. And for uh, factors such as issue of uh, low shading, they impact more on issues of uh, uh, capacity which impacts then on the, uh, uh, cap the, the capacity of uh, the municipalities to be able to attend to the issues of uh, the infrastructure maintenance, uh, uh, which is, seems to be a challenge. Yeah, Tamir, we understand that these are systemic uh, challenges that have been perennial even uh, post the 1994, where the promises of just basic dignity uh, and human rights were supposed to be observed, access to portable, drinkable water, sanitation, etc. But there is a problem with local government municipalities in particular in the value chain in supplying these very services. And it, it may be a skills issue, it may be a lack of political will, a cater deployment whatever other challenges but these are known my point is that uh, why has these recommendations not been implemented where there is a lack of uh, capacity we, we, we have uh, in the province of Kwazu Natal have been categoric uh, on the issues of, of, of um, ensuring that people who are employed that the people who really deserve uh, to be employed in terms of uh, their qualifications and expertise and even the issue of depoliticizing a local government and professionalizing a local government. As for a start, that we believe that if uh, we, we can, uh, in fact, reach that point in, in local government, we will be able uh, uh, to see uh, some of uh, the fruits. But, uh, you know, the, the challenges which are our citing, the challenges which I also believe, they are also uh, fundamental. However, AG, 
uh, in fact, uh, his uh, authority uh, to be able to call for consensus uh, management um, for consensus uh, management. Uh, on issues of uh, municipalities which are not adhering uh, to the standards and even uh, for the uh, technocrats involved there. Uh, I, I think that uh, uh, may assist if it may be really uh, expedited uh, when we to square in we can see some municipalities having uh, uh, to uh, answer or having uh, to in fact uh, have uh, their technocrats uh, uh, being in fact uh, disciplined for the wrongdoings, it will then uh, further enhance uh, the, the the issues around uh, service delivery and the infrastructure maintenance. All right, we're going to have to leave it there, Chairperson. Thank you so much. He is the Chairperson of the South African Local Government Association in KwaZulu Natal, Tamin Duli, just reacting to the auditor's report that, again, many local municipalities are failing to meet their obligations of providing a service delivery, let alone being able to uh, collect adequate revenue to keep the cities running. That's where.